This is Corrant Yudra Hanma. He is still the strongest character in all of Baki, but how much stronger is he compared to all the others? These various fighters, warriors, martial artists and monsters who have never stopped growing and training throughout the story. Today I'll be placing the ogre up against everyone. Some will be a long awaited rematch and others a wanted fight that could happen in the future of this ongoing manga. If you make it to the end you'll gain an understanding of how strong each of them really are and for your enjoyment they'll be placed on this tier list because we all love those. Yudra Hanma vs Doppa Rochi. Their third fight in the series you could say. As in the past when Doppa was drunk he got jumped by the ogre that resulted in the big clash at the underground to be set up, a key moment in the Bucky story for many reasons. First is how this fight for the manga transitioned us right into the Bucky flashback when he was 13 years old, while the anime did something slightly different. Second, it showed Yudro as someone who could be damaged and as not completely untouchable. Bro was kinda getting clowned on with his son watching, and thirdly, it was the first full 100% release an explanation of the demon back in the story. It's true that we had previous panels and moments, but those are more so foreshadowing for this big reveal and weren't as impactful. Now for their third clash in Corrin Baki, over 1000 chapters later, we have the strongest version right now of both fighters. Yes, that includes Doppa Orochi. This version right now, the most recent chapter, is the strongest he's ever been. Not in the past when he clashed with Ichiro Hanma, as even in that side manga itself, we see Doppo training wanting to get stronger, not when he faced demon back Yudro with two eyes and this ability, as in the next arc, the maximum tournament when looking at the timeline, we get it outright confirmed and shown that he completed himself, that is after losing his eye and being defeated by the ogre. Then at all points later in the story, all we see Doporochi doing is training. After the maximum tournament, he went up into the mountains and got even stronger as confirmed by this character profile for that arc. And then more training and training, even before the Masashi arc, bro just keep getting better and better. And Yudro is a similar case, we don't see it as much, but we've got various panels confirming that he's pretty much a monster that will just grow in power every day regardless but also just the narrative always putting Yudro as number one would mean he would need to be getting stronger naturally. Therefore the most recent fight from both Doppa and Yudro is very interesting to compare. Their exchange with the kicking sumo boy. First was the ogre who got done clapping Sukune previously and wanted to see what the other sumo wrestler could do, at least when it comes to the reincarnated ones. The battle of kicks that surprisingly had Yudro get out played first, getting kicked through the roof by the sumo boy. Of course, right before his revenge occurred and the sumo boy ran away or as claimed by him, did a tactical retreat, with this moment being used in the story to build up his first fight in the series against the new version of Doporochi, one that is much thicker than ever before, with the story making an emphasis on his thickness here. Likewise for a lot of characters recently in Baki, where the master destroyed him without much trouble at all, twice, a beating that I doubt will have him ever return to fight in the series again. Furthermore, Doppa Orochi during the Sumo arc also showed the ability to deal with Bucky's cockroach tackle, while also just demonstrating Sumo to him in a casual manner, highlighting that Corrin Doppo is still a top tier and is set up to fight Jack in the future of the story where we're going to see the true extent of his power. With Jack Villiam as the face of karate in the story right now, the martial art with techniques against everything and anything. So for a current fight between these two, you could imagine something similar occurring to the past. However, technique wise, Doppo hasn't really evolved or invented anything new to deal with the ogre, meaning he could be facing more of a disadvantage compared to the first fight. On top of that, narratively speaking, many are stronger than Doppo in the story, something that makes it hard to argue he would even push current Yujiro to unleash the demon back in a rematch. But to make it clear, he is compared to Kakukayo right after the Chinese tournament by Ali Jr, providing an argument to range Doppo around there. However, as you'll later learn, I have some interesting thoughts on Kakukayo versus current Yudro. So with all this said, and to give you guys an idea for the later rankings, Yudro Hanma would mid difficulty defeat Doppo Rochi, no dim back required.
Mr. Unchained has gone through various rises and falls throughout the Bucky series, and for a large amount of the story, many viewed him as an equal to the ogre, or the one closest to him in power. But the true extent was revealed when Bucky pulled up to his home, the prison, and defeated Oliver. And then during the setup of the father-son fight, we saw Yujiro clown on him, dominating in strikes and grip strength. Well, yes, this was not a real all-out fight. The purpose was to highlight that the ogre is much stronger, which we got to see even more when comparing Yudro fighting Demon Back Baki and Oliver fighting him. We also never got to see an Oliver vs Pickle fight or him facing Masashi, something that would have provided more of an understanding for Oliver's scale in the story. Now, in the current Suma arc, he got clapped by Sukuna at the start, and then at the end he returned to destroy the sumo boy, highlighting that a 100% serious Mr. Unchained is still a top tier. Yes, there's various factors to consider for that fight, such as Sukune being injured as this occurred right after his jack fight and was missing a finger. However, the domination of Oliver when facing him while serious cannot be ignored. But even with this said, nothing here is proving he's a match for current Yudro. The ball ability may give the ogre some trouble, as still to this day it has not been countered by anyone, knocking out Bucky in the past and greatly weakening Sukune in their clash, who also failed to break through its defense, alongside there being many signs that Oliver is also someone getting stronger in the Bucky story. And if you guys didn't know, when Oliver clashed with 16 year old Yudro in the past, this was an anime only scene, it was not included into the manga form of the story. So as a whole, many view him slightly above Doppo when it comes to how strong they are, so I'll need to place him in the mid range difficulty as well. When we do get some new fights against other major characters, we'll get a better understanding, but for now Oliver is still quite limited, just not weak like many people think. Up next is Yudro vs Jack Hanma, the fight we are all waiting for in Baki Rahen. But before that, check out the first ever mysterious merch with this demon back inspired design, available for all of you in both black and white. Additionally, this video was voted on by the Mad Lad channel members, who are voting again right now. Don't miss out on your chance, you also get access to all this additional content. Check out everything, links in the description. Back to the video. So the ogre now respects Jack with his Gaudao martial art, and the cyborg so far in his round 3 fight with Pickle is destroying the Dino Boy, not allowing him to land any attacks and clapping him with various combos alongside the bites now landing, resulting in any doubters of current Jack's might to give up and accept his current power. And I do believe when he does fight the ogre, probably for the conclusion of this arc or this current manga, he will push current Yudro to use his demon back, and I'm hoping Jack activates it for the first time during that fight as well. It's going to be absolutely insane. However, with all of this said, I doubt he'll be able to defeat the ogre, but will do enough to gain his respect and reach a level as a fellow strongest creature like Bucky has in the story, which is very important for Jack, as it was revealed in Bucky Rahan Chapter 2 that Jack's goal when he was a little kid, the youngest we've ever seen him in the story, that he wants to be the strongest creature alive, not a human, a creature, which is greatly important for his character and explains a lot of things we've seen from him throughout the story. However, coming back to the topic of today's video, this is current Jack vs current Yudro, and I do believe the cyborg boy is getting stronger throughout this arc, that's why he's called out pretty much everyone in the story to fight, for him to develop his martial art, to get stronger, to be ready to face the ogre, which we've also received a lot of setup for outside of all of that. Therefore, when looking at the narrative and what he's doing to Pickle right now alongside what he's going to continue to do based on my predictions, he should be levels above those in the mid difficulty range. So welcome the first spot in Demon Back tier, something I do believe is going to happen when they clash in the story. Definitely not what we got originally in the past at the end of Grappler Baki. Jack's evolution has been next level. 
A fight that's very strange when considering it has not occurred yet. They still only have had their one exchange during the start of Pickle's arc, where the Dino Boy was able to overpower the base version of Yujiro with raw strength, forcing the Ogre to use a technique so he wouldn't be 100% embarrassed. A moment that normally would result in Yujiro coming back at some point to claim an all-out victory, absolute domination, but no, he spent the remainder of that arc glazing Buggy instead, and even having a fight with Oliver, who viewed Pickle as the winner for that fight, while the Ogre was on Bucky's side, and since Yudro defeated Oliver or embarrassed him, Yudro is of course correct. A scene that made it seem like the Ogre had lost interest in fighting Pickle at all. However, when Pickle pulled up on the father-son fight, the Ogre proceeded to claim, I thought about this over and over again, proceeding to put all his attention towards Pickle. Therefore, why hasn't the Ogre faced Pickle in a wet fight? Why hasn't he pulled up on Pickle in the underground arena? Why hasn't he got Tokigawa to set up? If he truly wanted this and has been thinking about it over and over, you would imagine Yudro would cause something like this to occur at some point. But even to this day, we've never had Yudro vs Pickle. The most we've got is Bucky thinking about that matchup with this exchange being absolutely sick. So now it's time to go over whether current Pickle has a chance at fighting current Yudro. Based on his performance against Jack, it doesn't look too good for the Pickle arguments. And you can even make a comparison to Pickle during the Masashi arc in fighting the legendary samurai to Yudro's performance, where Pickle, while insanely strong when it comes to his raw strength still and durability, lacks heavily when it comes to speed, while the likes of Yudro was able to drop Masashi with his demon back out. Therefore, due to speed issues and Yudro having all the techniques that Bucky used to overpower and destroy Pickle in the past, it's likely the case that the Ogre would be able to dominate him. However, as I've mentioned in recent reviews about the Jack vs Pickle fight, you could argue to this day the Dino Boy has not faced a true absolute defeat in the sense he hasn't been fully knocked out in a fight throughout the entire Bucky series so far. But I do believe that will be occurring in his Jack fight, maybe due to blood loss or some other aspect. Therefore, I would say he goes in the mid difficulty range. You could argue he would force Yujiro to pull out the demon back. However, pickle stocks at the very minute are a little low. Let me know your thoughts on whether he should go higher or you're happy with this down below. Up next, I have Yujiro vs Goki. Someone who is greatly respected by pretty much everyone, whether it be Jack, Baki or even Motobay, and Loki is one of the biggest trolls in all of Baki, humiliating Oliver and even shocking the likes of Masashi. However, when it comes to Yujiro and Goki exchanges, we haven't seen much at all throughout the series. They've been in the same place a few times, but nothing notable, particularly with fights. It's also kind of ambiguous whether Goki is getting stronger. It's probably the case due to this natural power progression in the story and him maintaining a position over Dr. Orochi. They are extremely relative to one another as we saw in the Maximum Tournament fight. However, his portrayal in every arc past that is on Doporochi's level or maybe even slightly above as someone respected more by certain characters. So with all of that said, I think his Aiki is very powerful and one of the strongest things in all of Baki when it comes to abilities or technique. However, compared to the Ogre, he doesn't really stand a chance and is similar to Doporochi, so mid difficulty range. However, I will still love to see this fight at some point. The Chinese Grandmaster Kaku Kaio is a character that goes in the rematch category, someone who pushed the ogre in the past to use the demon back. However, when the ogre was in that state, Kaku had no chance landing all these blows as the ogre just vibed and then destroyed him, forcing the Chinese master to play possum or be killed. However, after that, he maintained kind of relevance in the story by taking a training position for the likes of Katsumi 
and then Retsu, alongside also being respected by everyone and being portrayed as very powerful. However, fights for himself are very limited. Alongside any signs of power progression, as one of the oldest characters who has already entered his final form you could say, at least compared to many others. And apart from that, there's a pretty good argument that the Retsu who faced and died against Masashi Miyamoto had actually surpassed Kaku Kairi there. Of course, this isn't 100% or absolutely confirmed in the series itself. It is based on some interpretations and how Masashi overpowered Zhao Li or broke through it. While also considering Retsu's narrative throughout the story as this prodigy Chinese fighter who could have more potential than all others that have come out of China. With us being able to compare Yujiro's performance to his with facing Masashi, which would make Kaku seem somewhat outdated on a broader perspective. However, his techniques are still very powerful. Yudro is aware of all of them now. Whether he knew Zali in the past is an argument, or he just outright copied it in that scene. A rematch similar to Doporochi would have the Ogre at a massive advantage. Therefore, I don't believe Kaku would be able to push current Yudro to use the demon back. So for now, I'll have to place him in the mid-difficulty range, alongside the before-mentioned panel from Arlo Jr. comparing him to Doporochi and Goki, which is consistent at every point later in the story. So this is his range. He could go higher if he does anything in the future of the story. However, I doubt we're going to get it, even though we did have it hinted at during the conclusion of Yujiro vs Kaku. Maybe if we get that end of story tournament or something like that. A clash with Haniyama is something we've seen kind of recently in the story. At the start of the Masashi Miyamoto arc when everyone was bored, resulting in the Yakuza to call out the Ogre and them two to fight one another. Yujiro outright tanked a direct punch from Haniyama, then with one blow pretty much one shot him. You can make arguments that Haniyama got stronger or was more impressive in his Masashi fight. And then in the Suma arc, he kind of had a very good showing. After that, in Rahan, he had an unfortunate moment, but then kind of redeemed himself by stopping Jack and Pickles' clash in the street, also setting up a future fight between him and Jack in the future as well. However, compared to the Ogre, we can't really say he's developed or has anything new that will put up a challenge. He's still a beast and should be recognized as a top tier who I do believe has gotten stronger in the series progressively due to being a fellow built different character. However, with all of that said, he's nothing compared to the Ogre and belongs in the mid difficulty range. When it comes to all the sumo people in the story, whether it be Sukune or Keiha, the most recent people who faced the Ogre in the story, we know Yudro can low diff them. Any of the others introduced in the sumo arc probably go on the low diff or even lower potentially. On top of that, when looking at the narrative, it's very unlikely that any of them will be returning to the story, at least not anytime soon, making them somewhat outdated eventually. However, maybe you could say Sukune belongs in the mid difficulty range, but when looking at his fight with Yudro, you can't call it a mid diff, it was definitely low tier. Katsumi is a character who's faced a lot of shit talking from Yudro himself, and is someone the ogre definitely does not respect. However, through his various rises and falls, his proven himself in his pickle fight and right now with the power of Retsu's arm he will be demonstrating some monstrous power when he does get his chance to face Jack in this arc and I do have a lot of stocks invested in him however that is compared to Jack no one really believes right now he'll be able to deal with the likes of pickle yet meaning at the very highest he has to go in the mid difficulty range at least until we see something more impressive from his current state. Motobay is a very interesting character as early in Grappler Baki he was the first one to really try and take out the ogre which resulted in one of the first moments where we got hints at the demon back being revealed highlighting that even Motobay back then was low-key monstrous pushing the ogre to that extent and then over a thousand chapters later in the Masashi arc we have his insane showing where he was the one to defeat the legendary samurai yes there's various circumstances to consider for that fight and how Motobay should not be recognized as stronger than the samurai however his showings are still insanely impressive but with all of that said, even during the Masashi arc itself, he was scared shitless of fighting the ogre and wouldn't even give it a go, just focused on saving him over, you know, 
wanting to fight him in any way. Motobei recognizes the ogre as the strongest and shows a lot of respect for Yujiro, which could mean his knowledge of the ogre as he is the one that mentions Yujiro knowing every martial art in early Baki and was the main, you could say, wanker of Yujiro in early Baki as well, the biggest fan of the ogre, where it would give him an advantage with his insane prep time which we got to see highlighted in Bucky Dow. However, with all of that said, I don't believe Motobay stands much of a chance. However, you could argue with the perfect prep time and everything going in his favor, he could force the ogre to use the demon back. But without all those circumstances, I don't think he stands a chance. Therefore, to make it fair, he belongs in the mid difficulty range as well. Verse Masashi is something that we would all want to see again. However, will it happen? Probably not. It's a possibility. However, if I had to place my bets, I would say no. He forced the ogre to use the demon back during the original fight. The fight didn't have a conclusion due to Motobay. It could have gone either way for all we know. Masashi could be viewed as too strong or too dangerous for the Bucky story at that time. The nuke on the Bucky verse was too powerful. Therefore, Tokigawa had to get rid of him. He could be the one the ogre respects the most in the entire story for what we were seeing which is pretty crazy therefore he has to go in demon back category i do believe the current ogre is stronger now in baki rahan with his new form compared to the masashi arc however without a doubt miyamoto is still top three strongest in the story as even two manga series later he gets brought up every other chapter as a recognized figure who a lot of the fighters still to this day want to overcome and achieve when it comes to level of power when it comes to the prisoners we saw what Yudro did to Yanagi. Yes we have the improvements shown in Revenge Tokyo a side manga However, when looking at the main series, none of them have returned. Therefore, we can't say they stand a chance at all. They either go in low diff or potentially even or a neg at this point. Hopefully they do return. It would be cool. I think a lot of fans would love that. However, right now, it doesn't look like it's going to happen and don't stand a chance against Yudro at all. And I even believe Yudro could 1v5 and claim the victory at this point. That's how outdated the prisoners kind of are. Verse Retsu is something I've discussed a little bit in the Kaku situation. He has been dead in the story for quite some time now, therefore he can't go higher than the mid difficulty range. If you use his Isekai version where we see I guess full potential, cracked beyond belief Retsu, he probably goes in demon back category or maybe even a draw with Yudro as some stuff he's doing in this manga is next level and potentially breaking the Bakiverse scaling for what we know it as. However, that is not the main series Retsu, so it cannot be considered. Maybe if you guys want another video breaking down Isekai Retsu vs Yujiro, let me know down below and leave a like on today's video. Versus other characters like Gaia, they can go in low diff. He hasn't done anything major in the story for a long time. He's been called out by Jack, which is going to be an interesting fight I would like to see. But again, most people don't think Gaia is going to be a threat to Jack at all. Therefore, the highest he can go is low difficulty. A similar thing for the Doctor Boy. Chair Guerrero may be mid diff if he was to return and have some impressive showings against other characters. However, I also doubt that's going to happen. So, low difficulty range. Someone who is very outdated as well. Kosho had an impressive performance against Jack, or more so against Doppo Rochi in the training prior. However, to get a full comparison, we will need to see Jack's fights against Katsumi and Doppo. However, he's definitely gone through a big improvement recently in the story but compared to the ogre he's still nothing low difficulty is where he probably belongs any of the other minor fighters in the series either go in Oroneg or low difficulty range none of them stand a chance I think all of you guys know that leaving us with two more to go over the other Hunmas, Yuchiro his father and Bucky his son so I've done videos talking about Yuchiro's power and my belief on that. Based on what we do know, which is quite limited, I do not believe he's stronger than the Ogre. However, looking at the fandoms, I guess, headcanon, the narrative of Yuchiro, and what is likely the case if we had to give him a fair go, he probably belongs in Demon Back tier at the very least. Some people like to say he's stronger than Yudro. Nothing in the story proves that in any way, it's just 
head cannon, as I just mentioned. To be fair, I think he is insanely strong and a true monster. He has the demon back himself. The hype he got from Tokigawa is around top tier alongside his feats during the war, meaning he's without a doubt a top tier that I hope gets more revealed about him in the future of the story. But for now, to be as fair as possible, he goes in demon back category, leaving us with a rematch against Baki Hanma. A fight many of us want for the conclusion of the story, a fight where Bucky actually does defeat his father in an all-out fight, not just under certain circumstances where everyone realizes that Bucky is not stronger than Yudro, he is still the strongest character in the series. If they were to fight again right now, I would still place my bets on Yujiro, however Baki is still training as we've seen and has fully became a force of nature that is recognized as a fellow strongest creature alive, who post Masashi Miyamoto fights has been portrayed as unstoppable in any clash he's taken part in. He will be fighting Jack in the future of the story, a rematch that's going to be absolutely insane and could be the other option where Jack unleashes the demon back for the first time which would be next level and an insane moment. Jack may actually defeat Baki giving him the chance to fight the ogre but of course we'll have to wait and see. Make sure you subscribe as I make videos on Baki Rahan every week or whenever a chapter does come out alongside all these other Baki videos available for you. Therefore right now I do not think he's capable of defeating Yudro. The fight may actually be closer than the original big clash However, he probably still belongs in demon back category. I don't think he's able to draw with the ogre or defeat him in any way. Baki, I would say right now, is stronger than Masashi Miyamoto or in a power ranking, I would place him above him, meaning he is probably still the second strongest in the verse, meaning the ogre is still unstoppable, making him built different compared to any other villain from the various anime and manga out there. For example, who else has remained as the strongest since the very start until a thousand chapters later when you're the main antagonist for a series? Leave your comments down below and try and reach the 10k like goal to help me make more content like this for my, you know, ego and that. And with that, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Check out all the links in the description, stuff like this. Ladies and boys.